Hello, Kate here, MyNaturalHappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from Hamstable to happiness, founder of Reading School of Reiki. How are you? How is your week going? Sending you a massive, massive hug as always. Um, yeah, so this week, the hump, hump day happiness, I wanted to talk about something that, um, yeah, my experiences of the first time I ever received Reiki and it involves sadness as well as happiness so um, I'll be real so the first time I ever received Reiki was from an amazing man called Perry and I met Perry at a mutual friends gathering he was a kind loving soul and um he passed away yesterday or sorry he passed away monday of a heart attack a sudden heart attack he's incredible you know his vibrant energy he's one of those too young to die healthy completely out of the blue and shock um deaths that I heard about was awful and my heart goes out to his family, his wife, his family, just awful and um, it got me thinking to the first time that I received Reiki because it was from him at a party, uh, well a gathering, it was a spiritual gathering and at the time I was extremely stressed, I was, it was probably about 20 years ago now which is just in insane and I was in the corporate environment and it was in a time where I believed in the corporate um, treadmill if you like and I you know I believed that I was going to get those promotions and I believed I believed that it was worth working 12 hours a day for a, a, another company um, and if you still believe that and you're working with it and it, it, it's aligning with your values of who you are, go for it, enjoy it. I earn a lot of money doing it that way. And without the corporate environment, I wouldn't be sat in this house now. So, um, yeah, it, it, it definitely served its purpose for me. And I wholeheartedly bought into the, you know, work through lunch, keep working until you drop burn out um, but get your money in first and um, you know we're all doing it we're all doing it together we're in it together and all that sort of stuff I completely believed I was completely stressed out I was completely strung out I was completely a live wire that was just running on stress I that's that's what I survived on was you know that that like adrenaline um it was a long time ago and a different a different me totally you know when I think of how much I have changed as a person since those times it's quite incredible um, not unsurprisingly I was suffering with stomach issues bad back uh, I had stress headaches I was yeah unsurprisingly I had a myriad of health issues to go alongside that mental state and I met Perry at a um, mutual friends spiritual gathering and he just looked at me and went can I give you some Reiki and I said oh, I've never had Reiki before but yeah I thought that sounds lovely so we sat in the corner and he just gave me Reiki for about half hour and that feeling of calm that swept over me that feeling of relaxation that feeling of actually being able to unwind from the inside out, that feeling of just... is something that I'll never forget that first time I received Reiki. It was incredible and life-changing because from that I, I learned that rest and relaxation, looking after my... Um, mental health was as important as going to the gym and running 5k on the treadmill if not more important and um, 
yeah, I completely changed everything. And I went on to learn how to give Reiki to myself, Reiki 1, Reiki 2, practitioner, and now teach Reiki. And I've taught so many amazing souls Reiki over the years. It's just incredible um, to have been able to pass on that feeling. And so I wanted to talk to you about that, partly as an honour to Perry, because he introduced me to Reiki and he passed away. And yeah, he just completely out of the blue, totally out of the blue, um, totally out of the blue. And it is a, a reminder that even in social distancing um, lockdown UK, well, whatever, <laughs> yeah, that it's about living and communicating with the people that we love um, and living within what we can do and enjoying life as much as we possibly can because it wasn't COVID that got him, it was a heart attack. So, yeah, part, I wanted to talk to you partly about, to say live and tell the people who you love, I'm sure you've been doing that, that you love them, and partly to share that my first experience of receiving Reiki because I don't think I've spoken about that on any of my videos before and that feeling of what it was like the first time I received Reiki and so yeah I wanted to just share that with you so that you know if you're in that constant hamster wheel yeah there's a way to just bring the level of adrenaline and anxiety and uh, stress down a couple of notches um, I stayed in the corporate environment for many years after that probably a few too many years because I'd already made the mental switch to leave the corporate environment long before I actually did because I wanted to make sure that I had all my ducks in a row to be able to set a business up and um yeah, so it's a big leap. It's a big leap to leave the corporate environment, go self-employed. It's a big leap and you do have to get to the point mentally of being ready for it without a doubt. Um, it's a big leap. Uh, so I stayed in the corporate environment for many, many years after that and Reiki was the thing, um, the turning point really, and the mindfulness, the meditation, all the work that I share on the Seeds of Change programme, all that internal work to help people keep their boundaries up while still allowing communication, creating a work-life balance, being able to, to look at things with a different viewpoint and to work towards dreams without compromising where you're at the moment. All of that stemmed from that first session of Reiki that I ever had. So there is a way, there is absolutely a way, there is absolutely a way to just bring down the levels of stress. And I know that I've done, you know, given so many virtual Reiki treatments, which I don't often do one-to-one -one sessions because a lot of what I do now is through the Seeds of Change programme um, and the Reiki training. But in lockdown, I've been doing a lot of one-to-one -one set Reiki sessions. And everybody has just, you know, been able to do it virtually over the internet. And everybody has just felt that unwind and felt that which makes a massive difference. So there are tools and techniques available to you. If you are working from home or working in the corporate environment or one of these people that are having to go back into schools and or you work in a supermarket, or if you're one of our key workers. Um, anyway, so, yeah, if you're looking for a way to just bring down the level of stress, bring down the level of anxiety, feel the body, your body just unwind from the inside out, then you have tools available to you. In the form of Reiki treatments, in the form of Sea to Change program, you have tools available to you. Reach out and ask for them. I will never forget that first time I received Reiki. 
Um, and I've had a few people that have received Reiki for the first time online and they've been completely blown away, um, which is so wonderful because it does work. It does work. So, yeah, so my hump day happiness had a few strings. It's gone on a little bit longer but than I intended. Hopefully you'll forgive me for that this time. Um, and, uh, yeah, honour Perry because he was the first person that ever gave me Reiki and I will change my life. And to say, you know, life's short, live, live, live as much as you can within the rules that we have at the moment. Live. Um, yeah, live. And three, the tools and techniques are available to you. You do not have to suffer alone. You do not have to be there alone. You do not have to stay on the hamster wheel 24-7. There are ways and means that can, you know, can be support you to just step off the hamster wheel for a little while. And then if you want to, you can step back on. You know, it's what's right for you. And so, yeah, that's, um, that's the hump day happiness. We'll be running a virtual retreat on Friday again at 5 p.m. So head to the Facebook page for the Zoom link. Uh, I haven't been creating Facebook events every week, but it's still been going on. So just go onto the Facebook page just before fri five o'clock on Friday. You'll see the Zoom link um, or email me on kate at mynaturalhappiness.com and I'll send it over to you. So sending you a huge, 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 huge hug. Sending you so much love. And hopefully, it's been a bit of a strange one, but hopefully, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I've ever really spoken about that before. So um, hopefully it's given you a new insight. Sending you so much love, so much love. Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster to happiness, founder of Reading School of Reiki. Have the most amazing, amazing week. Lots of love. Take care.